Hey everybody and welcome to a construction video. Today we are going to use the Desmos geometry tool to construct the three angle bisectors of a triangle and they have a point of concurrency called the in-center. So we're going to investigate that today. So the first thing you need to do is grab your segment tool and create a triangle in Desmos. Now, Desmos does not have, that I know of, I could be wrong, but it doesn't have an angle bisector tool. So we actually have to do the construction for this. So you're gonna grab your circle tool and from the vertex, you're gonna create a circle. From the two points where that circle intersects your sides of your triangle, you're gonna make one circle to the other point of intersection and then take that intersection and go to the first. So you're using the two points of intersection of the larger triangle as centers of the two smaller circles. And you're gonna go from one of the points of intersection to the next when you're constructing your circles. Now, these points of intersection where the smaller circles meet are going to lie on the perpendicular bisector as will the vertex of the angle that we just created that bisector for. So we're gonna create a line and it's gonna go from the vertex um, to one of those points of intersection. Now, we can see that if we manipulate our triangle, those angles hopefully are bisectors, but we're gonna verify that. So let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't wanna see just by, I'm gonna hide it. So we're gonna hide these circles so that we don't see them. Um, there's a lot of extra stuff when you're doing this construction. I think I wanna hide this point right here as well and maybe this point as well. Okay, so that cleans everything up a little bit. And then I just wanna measure these angles to verify that I have created an angle bisector. And when you do that, you can see that those two angles are gonna be congruent no matter how I move my triangle around. So I'm going to make angle bisectors for my other two angles using the same process, circle, and then I'm gonna make two other circles. And then I'm gonna connect the vertex to one of those points of intersection. And then I'm gonna hide all of the extra stuff that I don't want. When you hide things, you always have to go back to your arrow selection tool. So we're gonna hide that, hide this, hide this. Okay, and then I'm gonna see what else do I wanna hide? Yeah, I wanna hide a few more points. I'm gonna hide this point just to clean things up a little bit. Um, I think this one, and maybe this one. And I'm not gonna verify that those two angles are congruent because I did that with the other one. I think I'm gonna hide this point too. Okay, and let's go ahead and focus on the third angle. So I'm gonna put this third angle. Ooh, this just disappeared. Why did that disappear? All right, we might have to figure out why that happened. I think it has to do with how I'm manipulating my triangle. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. Okay, so let's do this last angle. And use your circle tool, just like you would use a compass by hand. Um, although if you were using a compass, you probably wouldn't make the entire circle, but just the arc marks that you need it. Okay, and then we're gonna hide all of the stuff that we don't want. Now, if you notice, those three angle bisectors do seem to be intersecting at a point of concurrency. So no matter how I manipulate my triangle, those points are intersecting. I'm gonna hide a few more points. We're gonna hide this one. I'm gonna hide this one. And I'm gonna create that point of concurrency right there. That point um, we are gonna label. So grab your arrow tool, click on the point you wanna label and we're gonna label it and we're gonna call that the in-center. It is the in-center of the triangle because if you measure the distance from that in-center to a side, and here's the important thing to remember, when you go from the in-center to the side, you need to use the perpendicular, right? Because the shortest distance from a point to a line or a line segment is always the perpendicular. So don't measure along the perpendicular bisectors you've made. If you wanna do that, we need to make sure we grab more tools and make a perpendicular line. We're gonna go from this side to the in-center and we need to measure along that perpendicular. 
we're going to make an inscribed circle. So the inscribed circle is going to go from the in center to the side, but you have to go along that perpendicular when you do because that is the shortest distance from a point to a side. Okay, now I am going to move this around and if we have done this correct construction correctly, if we have created that in center correctly with our angle bisectors, that circle is always going to be inscribed in our triangle and it will always touch or be tangent to all three sides of the triangle, okay? So this is a pretty cool property of the in center. The in center is equidistant from all three sides of the triangle as measured along the perpendicular. All right, I hope this helped you become a little more proficient with using Desmos, which is an amazing tool. And also, I hope it got you thinking about how you might do this construction by hand. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.